Blessings and peace, dear ones. It is a joy to be present with you. And as you come forward one by one and sometimes in twos and threes, remember this. You are the living spirit that is within all things. You are the living essence of your divine being. You are extraordinary, miraculous, brilliant beings. Remember, the reason sometimes that you feel low is that you are absorbing something that is not yours. Sometimes it has become yours. Maybe it became yours in another life that you had some very negative and harmful energy downloaded into you. But beloved, you are divine, brilliant, beautiful beings. That is your essence. That is who you are. Everything else is on top. If you can just remember that reality, it will assist you so much in your life. It doesn't mean you don't hurt. It doesn't mean you don't experience negativity. It doesn't mean that, you know, things are always easy. But for sure, they make more sense, beloved, when you remember what is real. That the truth about you is you are born of divine light. You come from light and you are made with love. And even if your parents argued forever, you were made with love. And everything that you experience in your life is what your soul has decided will help you remember ultimately that reality, that truth. And even though it might feel to you, well, I didn't ask for that and I didn't want that and that wasn't fair and it's all been done to me and it's, it's, I don't like it. I don't like any of it. Even if that's what you feel, beloved, know this. You are here by divine purpose. You wanted to be here now and have all the experiences that you have had. And somewhere deep inside you, you know that is true. It might be very annoying for me to say that right now because you might be having a really tough time. And don't think that I believe that is the way it should be. No, no, it should not continue like that because when you awaken and you understand what I just said, that you came with the purpose to remember what is real and what is unreal, when you remember that and you start to look into any situation, you ask yourself, so let, let us take a situation. Somebody was just really rude to you, not just rude, but positively abusive and defaming of your character unfairly and unjustly. All right. So, you know, the truth about you, you know that you are an honorable beautiful soul and you remember that you are of divine origin and you are made of light and of love so what's going on with these accusations what's real about this what's actually happening so let me help you understand the law of love and light so let's look like this here's light and love it's a beautiful open space here's darkness and pain and jealousy and anger and here it is, it's, it's heavy, and it's looking for somewhere to disperse itself because it's heavy, and the person carrying it is loaded. So they're, they're coming along with their load, and they see this lovely, beautiful, clean space. Oh, fantastic, and they come along and they dump their whole load right, right in your clean space, and you didn't see it coming. Obviously, you didn't see it coming. Otherwise, and if you learn some of, you know, the tools we talk about in many spiritual paths, of course, you will see it coming. And many of you do see it coming. And even then, it dumps a little bit in your space. But you see, if you remember in that moment, well, actually, you get your spiritual broom out and you sweep it back to the edge. And you remember what is real is that you are of the light. You are made of love and you actually can 
really see how that dark, heavy energy does not belong to you. You really can just sweep it back out of your field and breathe. Come back to your center and talk to yourself gently to remind your deep wounded being in that moment. Well, that wound actually belongs to them. They just dumped it in my heart. But I have compassion. And for a lot of it, I can bring my compassion and I can just consume that pain. I can just dissolve it with my love. And any of it that I can't quite chew because it really is a bit too much and it's acrid and it's, it's horrible, I'm just going to push it all the way out of my field and over back into their field. And if you know it's that simple, it is no different to sweeping mud out of your kitchen. And mud can be hard to sweep out of the kitchen. You need some water, then you need another mop, another bucket and some more water. It's, it's a job. But it can be done. And equally, emotional mud. That belongs to the mud bringer. It's not really real for you unless you decide to live in that mud. If you want to make it real for you, then you're going to take some of that mud and you're going to swish it around and you're going to allow it to stay. But why? Why? Well, now here we are with another part of the equation. The mud that you allow to stay is probably sticking to some mud that was already there, that was your mud. Now that then gets a bit confusing. Why is there mud? Why is there pain? Why is there fear in you? And then that's when you have to investigate, go further back, go into your childhood, go into some memories, understand where that initial pain, which I'm calling mud, came from. That's harder because that one is a bit more stuck, but it's still not the real you. And that's what you got to remember. Yes, the pain is real, but the pain is not you. The pain is something again that has come from, well, maybe a parent or a teacher or someone of influence when you were too little to keep that pain from landing in your heart and you didn't understand it and you didn't know what to do with it. And so that is what I mean. You see, that little one in you may have taken that pain to be real. And in the end thought, well, I'm just a being full of pain. I'm a being full of shame. I'm a being full of anger. I'm a being full of fear. Because that is something that became real before you knew what was really real. And so every day of your life, try to remember, beloved, I am the living spirit within. Take your breath. I am the light of my divine self incarnate in this body upon the earth. Take a big breath. I am the love of my divine essence dwelling here in physical form upon the earth. I love this being that I have created. Everything I think and feel and say and do is for my highest good and for the highest good of all around me. Breathe. I am always safe and protected, surrounded by angelic beings, guides and helpers and divine presence. I am always in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. I draw towards me all that I need in great abundance in the beauty way, 
with the greatest of ease. I am one with the divine source of my being, who is love. And so it is. Blessings and peace.